So over the years that I've worked on computers and fixed them, one of the things that I've found very beneficial is to, is to carry a bootable USB drive with me. So this is something like I could have um, Linux Mint or Ubuntu, some, some other operating system on this that I can boot from so that I can run diagnostics, I can test hardware, you know, I, I can transfer data without having to boot into that computer's operating system and worry about how slow it is. And so how do I go from having a downloaded image? So if I go to download, say, Ubuntu on my computer, and I'm gonna get an ISO image. Well, how do I get that put onto this so that I can boot from it? I wanna show you a really cool tool for Mac OS that will let you do just that. Let's check it out. So the tool that I like to use is called Belina Etcher. Now, Belina Etcher is a free tool, which I have used for many, many years, and I trust it a lot. Now, they, they do sell a paid hardware tool called the Etcher Pro, which you can use to flash multiple drives at once you know, at your desk or whatever. It's like 1200 bucks, but at least it comes in blue. This is a cool free tool, and for most of us, the software tool is going to be just fine. So to use this, all you've got to do is go to flash from file, or you can flash it from a URL. So if, if you know where a, uh, a disk image is online, then you, you could do that. But it's probably going to be easier and better just to go ahead and download it and flash it from the file personally. Now, you do also have the, have the ability to clone a drive. So if you have a drive already and you don't want to have to go find the image and then reflash it, then you could just go ahead and clone it to a different drive there, which is kind of cool to be able to do that. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to flash from file, and then I'm going to, to select the version of Ubuntu that I've already downloaded here, which is 22.10, the desktop variant here. And I will click on open and then select my target. Now my target is the disk that I want to become the bootable USB drive. So in this case, it's my USB SanDisk 3.2 drive, and it's already plugged into my Mac over here. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on select one, and then I can go ahead and click on flash. Now it's going to ask for my password, which makes sense because it's a, a privilege operation here that it's, it's trying to perform. So I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. And then once I do that, it will start the flash process and then it will take a few minutes to do this. So I'm going to give it a few minutes and then I'm, I'm, I'm going to come back here and then we'll, we'll, we'll kind of wrap up. So this next pass here is just a validation pass. And what it's doing there is just making sure that the what's in the disk image that the ISO file actually matches up with what's in the, what's what's on the flash drive now. So the worst thing that, 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 that could happen here is, is you don't want what's on the flash drive to not match that because then it won't work. So you, you, you can plug in that drive to a computer, but it doesn't boot. So this is going to validate that for me and make sure that it does match up. So pretty cool. And now it's just finishing. And now I have a bootable USB flash drive with Ubuntu on it. So I can go ahead and unplug it here from my computer. And there we go, one bootable USB drive with Ubuntu on it. So this is a really cool free tool. You can use it to flash all sorts of disk images onto flash drives. I like it a lot, check it out.